want to be more players, this tutorial is helpful. I'm going to teach you how to do step over or scissors. Let's talk about how to do scissors or step over in soccer. So let's start with that because Maybe it's just me, but I've always seen confusion with those two terms. For me, that's a step over. This is a scissors. And the way I think about it is, scissors I'm closing, I'm cutting, I'm coming together. So for me, I always call that a scissor. And I call this a step over. But let's talk about both in this video. And I'll talk about how to perform the skill, but also where to use the skill. So first of all, step over, or maybe you're calling a scissor, but let's do this one first. Stepping over or stepping around the ball, faking like I'm going to touch the ball that way, I'm faking this touch is what I'm doing. I'm faking like I'm gonna to touch there, and then I'm gonna dribble into that space there. I'm faking like I'm gonna go there, and I'm dribbling into this space here. Okay, but a lot of things, it's not just pushing your foot around the ball. What's gonna sell him more? What's gonna make the defender bite? This? Or this? Okay? So really sell your feint. Anytime you're doing a feint, it's totally different just doing this and actually trying to send someone in one direction. And if you really sell it, Hey, what's up? I hope you're finding this content helpful. Watch this all the way to the end if you want to find out which subscriber got this video's special shout out. The defender will bite. They'll be forced. It's almost impossible to not be shifted if someone has really good body movement. So really try to sell your feint. Sell your step over. So I'm not just putting my foot around the ball. I'm putting it around with some speed, with some purpose, but I'm also sending him there with my eyes. I'm sending him there with my upper body, with my shoulder. Okay, I really want to shift him, and I want to take the ball with me. I really want to shift him and then go in here. Okay. So a couple different situations or ways to do the skill, but obviously dribbling. You can do it from a standstill. And another way I like to do it is with a touch. So I'm touching. Boom. I'm basically faking this skill. I'm faking that I'm gonna do this. But instead of going that way, now I'm going that way. So I'm like cradling the ball with my touch, starting the circle, and then doing the skill. And then obviously, you can do a double step over, triple. Okay, so for me, that is a step over. A scissor, this is a scissor for me. Okay, so again, big difference between this and this. Okay, really stepping. Usually someone on your back, he's tracking me. I'm making him think I'm going that way hard, and then I'm going the other way. Okay, so keep those in mind. Focus on the technique, but also the movement of the upper body, the eyes, really selling it. Okay, move forward, let me breathe. Talk about when to use these skills. So, for me, I use this skill everywhere. I use this in the midfield because it's not that risky. What you want, don't want to do in the midfield is get on the spot. You really never want to do this. And when we become skill and technical players at a young age, like that's our tendency. We get one on one with someone and we want to. Exactly, take too many touches, fall on the ball. And that's usually what ends up happening. When you just simplify and you use one move, now I'm being more 
players with less effort. So for me, I use this skill everywhere. I like dribbling at pace. I like step over. So if I'm coming at you one on one, I like running to the ball and giving the step over. But it can also be valuable one on one situation. I'm kind of frozen. Shift him and then go. But remember, with all these skills, performing, executing the skill is the first part. But now I have to get away. Do not make your skill, do not perform your skill, good skill, and then be slow and heavy getting away from him. Because what's gonna happen? He's gonna come back, and now I have to beat him again. And I have to beat him again. And I beat him three times, but I went nowhere. So make sure when you're actually beating someone, you're getting away from them quickly. Next, let's talk about where to use a scissor. So for me, it's usually, as I said before, with someone on my back. I'm trying to lose that defender. He's, he's trying to slow me down, my back's to him, his goal is that way, and I'm trying to get that way. I'm usually trying to shake him, push him that way so I can come this way. With both of these skills, before I do the skill, I'm thinking about the space that I want to get into. So if I know the space for my shot, or the space to get free to play a pass is that way, I know that I have to fake him this way, I have to push him into this space to create this space. Okay, but that's usually how I would use this, is someone on your back. But you can do it facing someone. Personally, I would just rather do that than this. You have to have really quick feet because I'm kind of getting stuck. Because remember, I want to go this way quickly. And I kind of have to reset my feet here before I go. So one-on-one -on -one facing him, I would prefer a step over. And if he's on my back, I like this one to get away from him. But you can do a combination of the two. This is one skill that I perform. I don't know, actually, it always just comes out. It's like a step over and then a scissor. Okay, but again, don't get too fancy. Because the main objective to beat someone is to get away from them is to get into the open space. And if all I'm focused on is making him look silly and just trying to do as many cool moves as I can, then I'm defeating the actual purpose of skill moves, which is to get into space, to create a shot, to create a chance. This is the featured subscriber for this video. If you'd like to be featured in future videos, hit that like button, drop a comment below, and let me know how my videos have helped you improve and achieve more in this sport.